That was really good. <laughs> Big Nick, original gangster cop in the flesh. What's your tally? Four dead, six on the way to the hospital. I tell you, he's a bad guy. I'm gonna make you a deal. Give me the names of all the guys who got away. I'll get your medic. I ain't no snitch. Yo. He's done, son. We got a problem. It's major crime. Get to know your enemy, boys. Every big time crew has been busted. These are the guys who took them down. Hola mis amigos, soy Melissa Ramis y me encuentro con dos de los protagonistas de la película Den of Thieves, Gerard Butler, 50 Cent. How's it going? Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Welcome to Miami, guys. Bienvenido a Miami. Have you been able to enjoy the Miami sunshine? Nah, not no. the Miami sunshine, but we've enjoyed Miami. The Miami darkness. That's yeah, it. We got oh, it but in the evening and we went to a screening last night. It was really good. It was so good. The Miami Just, darkness is always scarier than the sunshine, so <laughs> gotta be careful with that. Yeah. Uh, Gerard, how was it filming this movie? The guys next door were telling me that you didn't want any of them around. Is that true? true? <laughs> I, I just don't want any of them around anytime. Uh, <laughs> no, it, 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 was, it was better to keep us apart. You know, because those three, they were outlaws. I was a regulator, so I had my boys, and we bonded in such an incredible way, and I know that so did these guys too. And of course, we went past each other, and we would always have a laugh when we did, but we, it was better that we spent more time apart, and it really helped in us building our bond, and then also that constant kind of competition. In the movie, you keep us apart, and whenever we're together, it really means something. Mm -hmm. And it was the same in life. Whenever we were together, it had to have a meaning. You know? I don't buy that. I think he just didn't want you guys around. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had separate separate things going on at the same time. Really? Like, even the training part. Like, we trained for military training while they were doing tactical training for law enforcement. So it kind of broke us up to kind of create that camaraderie. You know? And 50, I heard your stunt double got banged up. Uh, are you happy yeah. it was him, not you? Yeah, you're better him than me. <laughs> uh, what what that happen? Was that happen? That he fall? Had a, something, something with the shoulder, I don't know what oh, happened. I know, no worries. That when fall, I, oh. fell, yeah. It looked really good, though, on film. It looked amazing. <laughs> uh, I did remember, I remember I looking at it. that was him. That was me. That was you? Yeah. <laughs> that stunt, like I, I do, you know, my own stunts because, you know, I don't care about my shoulder. I'm not going to dislocate my shoulder. I know how to slide to first base. There you right. go. His, his stunt double hurt his shoulder just watching 50 trying, stunt. Trying <laughs> That's how like crazy me. that stunt was. Yeah, you know? And then it was, you know, once he got hurt, it was like, okay, let me just do, just do it. I'll just do it. You felt bad. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> now, Gerard, your, your character in this film, I mean, you want to hate him, but you can't because, like, he, he has that human touch to him, you know? Yeah. I think one of my favorite scenes was actually when you went to see your wife and she was there with another man. It looks so real to me. Yeah. Now, yeah. talk to me a little bit about your character in this film. Well, that's what you love about him, you know. He's he, he has a lot of. Give me a hug. What? Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah you yeah. see the man with the yes, wife. Yes, give me a hug. Come here. Come here. The same is a lot. Same is a lot. Therapy. I love that. I'm therapy. I do love was that. Was that ad lib or was that written in? No, no, no. That was written. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd love to say that was ad lib. You know, there was a lot of ad lib moments in that scene. Uh huh. Um, I had a lot of fun there, but that's this. This guy, you know, he, he pro I've protected my wife and family. I haven't been a very good father. I love my kids, I haven't been a good father, but I've still protected them from the monster that I have to be when I go out there to take on guys like this. It takes a lot. But once she lets me go, there's no more protection anymore. And that's that scene. It's like, okay, you wanna see the real me? You wanna see what I'm capable of? And uh, I, and, and so it's, it's a very scary scene. You know, it's also very funny. But that is, the, this guy has a lot going on. He's a complicated character. There's a lot of good in him, there's a lot of bad in him. You know, ultimately, he's trying to be a good dude. He just doesn't really know how to do it. Yeah. And, and uh, he has some pretty dodgy methodology when it comes to taking on the bad guys. That's, that's true. Well, before I go, I just need to ask one last question. Who had the bigger gun? Oh, my gun was way bigger. <laughs> Pablo says his was yeah. bigger. Oh, yeah, Pablo, because he had my gun. Oh, you know there you go. That's what he it was. Saw. He had the saw, yeah. <laughs> Pablo took his lines on his gun. And oh, there gun. you go. Yeah, he yeah. Just, we just wanted to, do, you know, this is why he's not in the front in the poster. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why. I took that spot. <laughs> Thank you guys. Can you take a quick picture? Sure. Yeah. Awesome. You are done. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was nine, do we have more vests? Let us stand on your feet, watch his mind. You look like the types who arrest you. My one for that seat down. Put you in handcuffs, drag you down to the station. You shoot him for if we walk in. We just shoot you. Boom.
You're not the bad guys. We are. Seems like the whole city go against me.